Hi everyone, this is Neha Kher from Testash. Uh, we will be talking with Ranveer Shori, Omi Vedya, and Milan Soman for their upcoming season two of Metro Park. Mummy, did you know that Karishma Beauty Salon is one and a half rating? This is definitely not ours. The owner was screaming at her husband on the phone during the entire haircut. What was it like to be shooting for this uh, show during a pandemic? Omi had the most dramatic uh, response to all of that, so you should you should okay, go. Fine. Uh, okay, fine. So yeah, yeah, when I was going to shoot this show, I was quite worried. I'm in DC. I, I drove straight to New Jersey. I did not stop. Uh, I did not get gas or like I got <laughs> gas right here. You know, like I, I was very worried. My wife is a public health researcher, so she knows all the rates and um, the exposure, whatever. So once I got there, I was pretty uh, worried. You know, uh, I, I'm in the opinion that everyone, you know, has the virus, that, you know, that type of thing. So, uh, you know, I, I made sure to, uh, keep distances and wear my mask. But ultimately I realized that we lived, with, you know, they had bubble, made a bubble with everyone. Everybody was living in, in houses, uh, two or three houses. So we were only interacting with each other, um, which meant that ideally we would be safe. And after about a week or two, you know, I, I became comfortable with everyone. And, you know, even though we had a great first season, this one was actually much more memorable in many ways because we were all, you know, put together in this in, in this environment, and uh, it came out really well. And luckily, luckily, nobody got nobody got COVID, you know. So that awesome. was that was fantastic. Um, is there any anecdote from you know the sets or um, or you know something behind the scenes that that you would like to share? Behind the scenes, everything was behind the scenes. I mean, what do you want me to say? <laughs> well, talk about that party. There was like a viral video of you guys. Dancing, some dancing, yeah, that was fun. It looked fun. It looked fun because you weren't there. <laughs> it was a lot of fun shooting anyway, so behind the scenes, it wasn't... I think Ranveer would probably be uh, in a better position because I had only three scenes. Mm -hmm. So Ranveer, tell us something funny about what happened on the set and make sure I'm in it. Yeah, well, the, I mean, uh, there was the, there's this, you know, Milan plays a dentist and there was this scene where I had to be in the dentist chair with him, pretending to be the dentist, dangerously close to my uh, mouth with a uh, with a pair of pliers in his hand, and uh, yeah, that was uh, that was it had me on edge, frankly. Yeah, you know, people would just drop and take a nap randomly in places. So even myself, you know, so we just take naps randomly in places in costume. I remember seeing Ranveer in boxers and a shirt just sleeping. Um, I still have that photo, Ranveer. I'll use do it. Do not, do okay. not use it. I will if I need to. Uh, Ranveer, there's this scene in the in in season two. It's a Chole Bhatura scene where Kalpesh is awkwardly comparing his son to a Bhatura. How do you manage to keep a straight face in in funny scenes like this? Because I was cracking up while you were trying to explain in that. Well, you know, when you know that they're gonna keep you there till you get it right, you you do anything that's needed to <laughs> to get the job done <laughs> and and go home. So I just it's really fun scene. And Ranveer is, Ranveer is a good actor, you know, he can keep his face straight in a funny scene. He's a good actor. <laughs> yeah. That, that's what that's what we wanted to hear, but but he's being yeah, yeah, uh, know, modest, of course. <laughs> um, no, speaking of uh, obviously, you know, you're being a, a good actor and you know, great actor. You've you've obviously done a variety of uh, genres. You know, you've done thrillers, action, comedy. Do you have a favorite genre to work in, Ranveer? No, no favorite genre, uh, but uh, definitely I look for good scripts. The, uh, they have to be um, uh, cinematically sound. Uh, you know the screenplay and uh, and other things. Uh, so I try my best to do my due diligence and you know before I sign up on uh, what the project is, if, if the script is good, if the casting seems right, if the directors seem uh, you know uh, trustable. Uh, and uh, and then after that, it's uh, a lot. Of, some of it is of course the roll of the dice, but uh, most of it is hard work. Omi, my next question is for you. Um, so, so you know, your your character Kanan's he's always you know trying to do the right thing, but a lot of the times we see that you know that tends to backfire. So, uh, what would be your advice to Kanan? I don't think uh, Kanan would listen. He never does. So, 
it doesn't really matter and you know that's sort of how it is being the outsider in us in a large family like that you try to uh, show your presence or your personality by or your worth by doing something different and making other people do it and typically you know it goes against the grain and sometimes it can backfire in your face and then you go back to your old ways so i think that there's a there's a canon in every family who tries to be the coolest the hippest the healthiest and usually is not that you know but he's he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to um overcompensate for 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 insecurities that he's had and that's uh that's some something that many people can relate to melan my next question for you we've seen you recently in uh you know four more shots please which we absolutely loved um this dash did a review on that as well we you know we're going to see you, you in um in metro parks later season which is you know releasing in on the 29th uh what what should your fans expect to see you in next well that's a secret mm. okay <laughs> lots of secrets <laughs> anything anything that's not so secret i definitely i definitely won't be walking down a boardroom table in my underwear so it could be naked he could be naked that's what he's saying mm, that's what he's saying Okay, well, well, to all your fans. And it could fans. not be, and it could not be a boardroom. Okay. <laughs> um, and you won't right. be bored. You won't be bored. That's what he said. <laughs> no, it is. There will be a lot of room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get all of these hints, but but we'll leave these clues for your fans to figure it out. <laughs> uh, what's what was your what was your experience working with the Metro Park family? Oh, it was it was great fun. I mean, it really, absolutely. I mean, uh, when I got the script, of course, I, I it was so well written. I I it was so well written that I didn't expect it to be that good. But they sent me a couple of episodes from season one, and they were hilarious because. everybody is just so good in it you know they they really performed the scenes the way they were supposed to be performed and uh, so i went there um you know thinking that okay this is going to be fun but it was it was actually fantastic it was really i had an amazing time working with it i wish my i wish my role was longer maybe i'll come back in season 3 awesome we would love to see that that's great that okay would, so that would sadly i think that would mean me exiting <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think we we like to be like the, and not, you know, and, and not not out of choice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, I hopefully we'll get to see both of you. I can I come back come as back a ghost. I, oh, I thought, I thought I thought I thought you were saying that means you can come back as a ghost. <laughs> you come back as a ghost. I'll come back in a dream. You guys, you guys yeah. are a hoot. Thank you all so much.